Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and some interesting news out of the Blender Foundation yesterday, and that is the launch of Blender Open Data. So what exactly is Blender Open Data? Well, it basically, it's a benchmarking suite. It's a custom binary version of Blender and a number of you know, real world type tests to run, so a, a number of sample scenes, etc. And it runs through them on your device and optionally submits the benchmark results back up to the cloud. And there's a couple of reasons why this is quite cool. So first off, you can go ahead over to their site and download it. The Blender benchmark looks exactly like this because, well, this is it. Uh, so again, this looks like a different application, but ultimately this is, as you can see by the icon down here, a custom version of Blender. You come in here, you can basically choose your GPU or your CPU and run the quick benchmark or you can run the complete benchmark suite. Uh, this takes about an hour and a half and four gigabytes of memory uh, to run. And I'm not going to do that right now because I don't really want to make that video that long. Uh, but essentially this benchmarks a bunch of um, processing tasks on your machine and then submits them up to the server. Now there are a couple of reasons why this is a particularly cool project. We're going to head over to the Blender page to understand exactly why. So this is the key part. We built the Blender benchmark platform with maximum focus on transparency and privacy. We only use free and open source software. The testing content is public domain, uh, Creative Commons zero, and the test results are being shared anonymized as public domain data. So basically all of the data that you collect is optionally sent up to the server for correlation. So basically it can all then be this gigantic data set of performance data on how your machine handled the rendering tasks in Blender. And then that data, that huge collection of data Data over time is then available to everybody. And you just basically, you can see a little bit more about how it works. Um, you can log in with a Blender ID account to track your own personal data and see how it is relative to the other data sets. But the key part is the open data portal which is available right here. And this is opendata.blender.org. And this is where all of the benchmarks are going to be displayed. You can see averages, etc. Now they're not all here yet. You see that they're benchmarking 1,889 benchmarks. And you can see a couple of them right here. So already from the results that are coming in. Now I think something a little fishy is going on because if you look at this one, um, it doesn't seem like Windows data is being collected as of yet. And there's more benchmarks that will be coming soon. So uh, there's just a, a small amount available at this point in time, but all you can already, you can come in here and see, for example, what the fastest uh, CPU combination is for rendering in Blender right now, which coincidentally is uh, the Intel Xeon CPU E5. Weird. When I checked this a few minutes ago, it was the Threadripper. So Intel Xeon just took their crowd back. Uh, so this is realistically just yet another benchmark set. But what makes this one really cool, again, is the openness of it. So the data, the more people do it, the more data there will be. It will all be in the cloud. You'll be able to access it. And they're also going to be doing verified results. Now, the verified results basically is Blender Institute is going to be running them under controlled and verified, verified conditions. And what we're ultimately going to get out of this one is a better understanding or rating of how a computer will perform with Blender. Now, a lot of this is not necessarily oriented towards game development. This will be more about uh, render farm kind of performance, but it'll be interesting to see where they ultimately go with the uh, the data sets there. I would like to see more um, GPU performance, viewport rendering, EV. I don't know if they're tracking that kind of stuff, but I'd love to see that kind of information as well, because this could definitely be another popular benchmark for you know assessing what to get, which GPU to get, which CPU to get, etc. And the open source nature definitely makes it more interesting and um, intriguing. Now, again, this literally just launched. So you're going to see more data and more benchmarks come online as time goes on. Um, and also you can come in here and basically track your data as well. As long as you've signed up for a Blender ID, then you can sign in and see the, the values that you've submitted yourself. So definitely an interesting project. Um, it, it's cool to see again that this is done entirely open source uh, Creative Commons data. So you should in theory be able to access the raw data as you can see right here. Uh, but again, will be available. So this just launched. This is going to turn into something bigger and better over time. So if you're interested in helping to contribute, just head on over to, uh, let's see, open, actually, can you, yep. Head on over to opendata.blender.org and um, you can come in in here. You see it's available for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. And it, um, it's about a half a gigabyte download. 
like I said, the first one takes about, an, the full suite takes at least an hour and a half, much longer in my experience. And the quick one still takes well over a half an hour. So if you've got some spare time and you're willing to help contribute towards this project, give the thing a download, let it run, contribute your information up. They also talk about um, how the data is anonymized. Uh, so basically, um, the Blender ID, username, and hostname. Currently, this information is removed by default and no other personal information is collected. Now, obviously, that's up to them in good faith, but I trust the Blender Foundation isn't spying on you. And, you know, I trust them probably more than I trust almost every other benchmarking option out there. So it's an interesting project. Nice to see Blender doing this. Nice to see them sharing it and keeping the open source spirit alive. Are you going to try it out? Uh, if so, how did your results come in? Are you shocked to see that uh, Xeon is currently kicking? Kicking Threadripper. Well, I wouldn't say kicking, it's barely up. But this would be nice to see who actually has the crown as things go forward. So another benchmark for us all. This one is completely open source and the data is available to all of us, or at least will be in time. Let me know what you think. To comments down below. Oh yeah, one other thing I should point out. Um, you probably, I, I'm actually right now in an airplane. This is actually recorded yesterday, published it up today. Uh, I may be a bit slow to respond next week. I've got a couple of videos queued up. So even if I end up with two tin cans for some string in between for an internet on the island I'm going to, there are some videos coming up on this channel in the future, but my comments might be a little bit more few and far between So I'm on a mini vacation. So if you don't hear too much from me, don't worry, nothing's up. I'm just off sunning and drinking somewhere. Um, so do stay tuned. I've got a couple of videos queued up for your entertainment. Hopefully you'll enjoy them. All right. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.